Today I built a custom mini truck to troll the cops. We drove around the entire city before it was time to escape. Then I hid behind this secret alley. Did we escape or did we go to jail? Okay, we're on the way to go pick up our new vehicle. This thing has been being built for the past two weeks. It's totally custom and we're going to be using it today to troll the police. So here's the warehouse up in front of us. We got to swing around back. Pick this thing up. We've got the Ford Raptor, and we've also got a trailer to tow this thing on back. Because as far as I'm concerned, this thing is not street legal. So here we go. Authorized vehicles only. Well, I think we're authorized. There it is. Oh my gosh. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Jeez. They call this thing the Honda Acta. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. We've had this thing custom built because as you can see, we added these insane tires on them. These are custom. I mean, they're pretty sweet looking too. We got the red rims. We've also added on a toolbox. We added on a little light bar. And then we did some color match options in the front, the bumper. And here's the interior. Check it out. It is a right side drive vehicle. It's a two seater so we can bring all of our friends. But let's fire this beast up. Look at this. You got the lights and everything. And then also we got the strobe bar on top. So this is awesome. Let's load it on the trailer. It's also another thing I added, a gooseneck hitch. The tow trailers around with isn't that insane and a trailer hitch i wonder how much it tows though it is a little bit smaller of a truck it's not like the ford raptor the good old f-150 but maybe we'll test it out with some big trailers here but back it on perfect strap it down okay we're ready to roll all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this on back to the city of ravenport we're gonna test it out with trailers kind of get a feel for the vehicle and then once we do we're gonna head over to the police station the police are located inside of town so they're not too far from where we're gonna be testing out the trailer stuff and basically, we're just going to be trolling them. And what that means is we're going to end up, you know, messing around, probably doing some donuts, some drifts, some high-speed drag racing, and some other things. So it's going to get pretty crazy. But uh, yeah, I'll meet you guys back in the town so we can test out our new Honda. Wait, where did it go? We lost it. Wait a minute. It must have flew off the trailer. I got to go back and grab it. Anyhow, I'll see you guys back in the city. Okay, we are pulling into the city officially, and the trailer should be ready for testing there. We've got a fully loaded Big Tex trailer, and we've also got a quad axle boat trailer. So we're going to test it out with this Honda, see if this thing can tow. I'm sure it can. We've got a custom welded, you know, gooseneck hitch on it. So let's lower the ramps on this trailer. Look at this beast. We left the strobes on when towing it, but uh, it made it here finally in one piece. I don't know why... It fell off the trailer, but uh, I think it was trying to uh, take a run from us. But here we go. Oh, geez, we almost just flipped it. But let's swing this thing around. We're going to test out the gooseneck hitch first. And yeah, we'll just back it up. Look, you can actually lower this, but it does nothing because the truck's so small. You can lower the tailgate. And we got to lower the trailer now to get this thing to hook up to it. It's going to be sitting low. Oh, my gosh. Is this even going to work? Look at that. The supports on the trailer are touching the ground. Hold on, I think I have an idea. We can boost up the big techs. There we go. We've got this little extension thing. Now we're off the ground. All right, let's go ahead and give it all the beans we got, boys. Hit it. Oh my gosh, it's towing. Wait, this is crazy. I didn't think it was going to do this good. What? Maybe they uh, souped up the engine in this thing. It's probably got like 300 horses or something crazy. It is quick. It does 90 miles per hour. So that's why we're trolling the cops with it today because it's got high speed. So we're able to you know, escape the cops and do all that cool stuff. But let's attach it here. There we go. Oh, I just flipped it. All right, here's the quad axle trailer. This thing tows pretty good, but I wanted to see how it does with the trailer hitch backing up. Um, sometimes the front tires can get loose on you, but there we go. Look at this. No problem. All right, quite the shocker here. We're done with the trailer testing. Let's move on to the fun. We're going to leave the Raptor here. We'll come back if we need it. Oh, that was cool. Time to head over to the police, and we're going to go troll them. So let's head on over. They're located probably by the beach. There's usually some officers on patrol for, you know, all the public safety and stuff. So... Let's go rip down there, probably at the surf shop, and we'll find them. Let's see, I think there's a sneaky way to get there. Oh, there they are. They're right uh, posted up by the surf shop there. Check it out. Okay, boys, here we go. Hit it full speed. Three, two, one. Oh! Oh, he lit up his lights. Okay, well, that's easy. There you go. That's how you get in a police chase. We hit his bull bar, so it probably didn't cause too many damage, but now we're on the run from the cops. And uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun with this mini truck. The cool thing about this is it's a mini truck, so we're able to get into spaces that cop cars may not able to. That is a Hellcat cop car. He is flying in that thing. Oh, and he hit a wall. Okay, well, that gives us about 10 seconds of time to get away from him. Here we go. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. All right, he's back behind us. He caught up. That thing is quick, that Hellcat, but we need to use the tactics that we have, the mini truck. So we're going to head over to this lighthouse area. And there's some sneaky ways that you can, you know, hide from the cops here and get away from the cops. So we're going to go ahead and test those out. See if they work with the scenario. The cop is about 150 feet behind us. Take a left. Here we go. Oh, don't roll it. Come on, land it, land it, land it. Oh, landed it. All right. Up this hill. There we go. Take a left. It's all about maneuverability here, boys. There we go. We're climbing. We're climbing. Here's the bridge. 
All right, check this out. Look at this. My car fits perfectly through the bridge. I wonder if the cop car fits. I'm not sure. But we're going to wait for him to get over here. And then the next thing we're going to do, as soon as he passes through here, we're going to drive back across the bridge and we're going to put a pallet down. So he's not going to be able to get through which will buy us some more time. Okay, boys, look across the bridge. You can see I'm like pretty much hidden. He's not gonna be able to see me, but as soon as we get across the bridge, we've got this cool little pallet here. So this pallet, we're gonna drop off. Obviously, we got that tailgate. This thing will fly out. There we go. That's our cue. Wait a minute. He just flew off the edge. Oh, uh, officer. All right, well, we're gonna go have to find another cop because that one's gone. So we're gonna keep this pallet. Let's strap it down. We'll use this for later in the video. Well, I guess that tactic worked. All I need to do is uh, hide behind a bridge. I guess they don't know what brakes are. I'll see you guys when we find the next cop. Oh my gosh, this thing is so much fun to drive, though. It's got a pretty cool steering wheel. It is a manual drive, too, so we have to shift gears every time. We're speeding up, slowing down. It's kind of annoying, but it is quick. Look at this thing go. Let's see what speed we're going. 74, almost 75 miles per hour. That's insane. Okay, we're going to take a right up here. Usually, there's some cops posted up around the area in case there's you know speeding traffic all that other stuff so let's see if we can find a cop up this hill here usually they're posted up check out all the hot air balloons those are pretty cool nice to see oh watch out there's a car oh we almost just tipped over all right uh let's see no cop posted up here let's go to the next bridge sometimes they do some checkpoints in case there's any robberies or anything like the bridge crossing checkpoint oh i think i see one up there there it is a wild officer and it's natural habitat there we go Hey there, officer. How's it going? Yeah, what can I do for you? Oh, nothing here. Just, uh, check out my new Honda minivan. Okay, I'll come take a look at it. Uh, ooh, this is pretty cool. Yeah, it's totally registered to the United States. Uh, I don't see a plate on this, uh, vehicle here. Where's your license plate, sir? License plate? Well, it technically is not an American-made vehicle, so I don't need an American license plate, officer. That's not how the game works, okay? You gotta put a license plate on the vehicle if you're gonna be driving it. Uh, see you later, officer. Have fun. Uh, wait, I think I just got myself in trouble there. I kind of just, um, yeah, that's not a good idea. All right, well, that's actually another way to get a cop to follow us. And, uh, we've got this, this pallet in our back of our truck. We need to let this thing go so we can speed up to 76 miles per hour. Oh, hey, what was that for? Okay, I'm officially using this pallet trick. Here we go. Flip over. Come on, truck. Okay, we're back on our feet, and he can't yet, but he probably will soon. There we go. He gives us about 20 seconds across the bridge. All right, we're going to unstrap this thing. Ready, boys? When we're ready, we're going to deploy the pallet. I basically just brake check, and this thing will fall out. Here he comes. He's coming up quick. All right, here. We got to wait till he gets up close to us. There we go. Lower the tailgate, and all right, pallet, get out of the back here. Brake check. Oh, that didn't work to plan. Okay, next thing up is the getaway, boys. Part three. The finale of the Trolling Cops episodes. We need to get away because, you know, we don't have a license plate. Like I said, we got to hide in certain places. So let's find a good spot in the city here. There we go. Take a right. I think we, we already lose them. There's no way. Oh, hold on. We flipped it. All right, I'm hiding behind the restaurant here. I think this might have bought us some time. We're going to hide right here and then we're going to be able to escape. Okay, we uh, got outside the restaurant now. So we're going to go ahead and try and find a spot to place this truck at. Because as far as I'm concerned, this is the only mini Honda truck in the united states so it's gonna be pretty crazy oh where, where's this going no way oh my gosh that's bad luck that's really bad luck there's no way how did he find us oh come on you mini truck there we go there we go all right this is not good because he's back oh he hit a tree he's back hitting a tree okay that's good that buys us more time here but we got some little bit more easier spots to uh escape the police here we've got the cozy wool that's like the plant and then there's also like this silage plant thing so we might be able to drive up there there's a sawmill. Let's go there. Hold on. Sunflowers. Hold on. It's like about the height of my mini truck. This might work out pretty good. Let's see. He'll turn the light off. Can he see us? Oh my gosh. We're blending in with the sunflowers. Okay. This is actually, this is genius. Literally W strat right here. There you go. There goes the officer driving up. I think he's got a helicopter in the air though. He's probably going to find us. Where's he at? Where's he at? All right. We're going to wait for him to fly through the sunflowers and then we're going to go back up to the silage plant, hide this thing and probably go on foot. Oh, there he is. He's going through the sunflowers. Okay. He probably can't see anything through the windshield. We'll sneak behind the trees. Okay, he didn't see us. He didn't see us. There we go. We made it in. All right, let's find a spot to hide out here. Where could we go? I think there's a container over here. The mini truck's not fitting in that. Maybe not here. Come on, we have like 10 seconds till he gets here. Oh, oh, behind this container. Ready, boys? W hiding spot right there, right there. All right, all right, all right. Let's park it up. All right, I jumped the fence. We left the mini truck there. Where's the officer? Where's he at? We're going on foot, boys. I see him. I see him. I think he knows where we're at. I think he just saw us walking. Okay, there we go. Oh, no. Yep, we got spotted. We're not really good at this. Let's run. 
I get super power strike. We're going back for the Raptor, boys. We're getting out of town. All right, fire the V8 up. There we go. Get this thing moving. Ramps up the trailer. All right, boys, and we're off. And there we go. Another successful trolling video. We escaped. It was definitely more difficult at the end there. We had to really hide that vehicle and uh, run away. You know, we had this super strength at the end with the running. But guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want to see us do more videos like this with these crazy funny vehicles like the Honda mini truck. And uh, yeah, let me know by dropping a like. Subscribe down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.